Hello everybody, this is Drew Thomas, and this isn't really a why hate video, nor is it, you know, I'm a Beyond Styled rant, but yeah, this is a rant, but I feel that's a good rant. And today's rant is on the most mean-spirited people in the world. Not the Nazis, not the citizens of a city. Although, what could be worse than St. Louis and New York City? Bikini Bottom, and their creatures, the Bikini Bottomites. These people are mean-spirited, awful people. I mean, I get that's reality, but they're far worse than reality. I mean, they literally do a whole lot of, you know, mean-spirited things throughout the series. Season 1 was perfectly fine, but well, in like season 2, in the episode Grandma's Kisses, they literally make fun of Spongebob just for being kissed by his grandma. Like, that is so mean-spirited. And on the season 3 episode, The Sponge Who Could Fly, they literally, you know, they literally take advantage of poor Spongebob, forcing him to do all sorts of, you know, pretty much to do all their jobs. And then when Spongebob tries to escape, they blow up his pants, and and whether the, and instead of feeling sorry for Spongebob being hurt, they feel sorry for the pants. Not to mention that they're hypocrites in the episode Little Yellow Book, and how they just, you know, they're all happily reading Spongebob's diary and laughing with Squidward, and then they quickly turn against him. I get that Squidward's deed was terrible, but still. And, you know, these people are just mean-spirited. Well, they can't be as worse as the Nazis, I'm pretty sure, I don't know. And besides, uh... I'm sorry, uh, no, not, not all Nazis are evil. So, yeah. But, damn. These people are just terrible people. I mean, literally. Anytime they do something, anytime a character does something bad with another character, li literally the whole town turns against the, you know, person that causes the trouble. I think the worst out of them has to be Harold. Harold, the big meaty claws guy, fish. He's probably the one that causes the most. He's one that causes the most drama on SpongeBob, especially in the episode. Uh, you know, especially in that episode called Band Geeks, which you know is actually hilarious. But still, this these citizens of Bikini Bottom are just mean spirited, awful, dreadful, terrible, mean spirited. Awful, dreadful people. Like, seriously. These people are terrible. And, in fact, in fact, their moments in the show have actually made it to the points to where I would never want to visit Bikini Bottom. And, and that's really the whole purpose of the show. They want to make Spongebob so good that, you know, you would want to go to Bikini Bottom and meet Spongebob. But I would just avoid Bikini Bottom with the other Bottomites because they're just mean-spirited people. And they literally obsess over a sandwich. Anytime they don't get their fill, they start to destroy the town or the restaurant whenever Spongebob is not there. They need to stop relying on people and, you know, they need to work out their own problems. For crying out loud. Like, honestly... I would never want to go to Bikini Bottom any any day. In fact, you know, I prefer to go to Chuck E. Cheese's over Bikini Bottom. Because at least Chuck E. Cheese's doesn't have mean-spirited people. So, yeah. I mean, other than the people that call us bras, but yeah. Welp, that's my uh, short rant on the Bikini Bottomites. Well, not really short, but here's my, uh, you know... Here's my uh, brief rant on the Bikini Bottomites. It's actually just a rant. So, yeah. So, subscribe to Drew Thomas and, yeah, avoid Bikini Bottom at all times. It's a dreadful city. I wouldn't want to visit it. This is Drew Thomas signing off. Good night, and the Bikini Bottomites suck.